The UK faces one of its longest recessions on record after the Bank of England, overnight, by three quarters of a percent, increased rates as it seeks to crush inflation. Let's bring in Ross Greenwood. I've never really had it laid out so clearly from all of the overseas countries at the moment that this is going to be a longer than initially feared, baked in recession period, Ross. Is the, the greatest fear of our government and the Reserve Bank about to be realised here too? Well, it could very well be. The interesting part about this is it's quite clear that around the world there is a fight against inflation, even at the risk of recession and a deep recession. It's seen really that inflation is a, is a worse economic outcome than having a, a recession or an economic downturn. And so the idea is to try and jack these interest rates up as quickly as you possibly can to suppress demand. It seems odd because what you're doing is adding to the cost of mortgages in order to stop people from spending in order to try and get the inflation bake back down. The problem is, of course, that energy prices around the world are causing real problems. But just for a bit of a lesson on this as to why inflation has seemed to be worse than uh, a, a recession or an economic downturn, let's go to Andrew Bailey, who is the head of the Bank of England. Today we've increased bank rate by 0.75 percentage points to 3%. This is the eighth consecutive increase in bank rates since December of last year. We've raised rates by a total of 2.9 percentage points during that period. These are big changes. They have a real impact on people's lives. So why are we doing it? And why are we doing it now when so many people are already struggling with higher energy and food prices and other bills? Well, quite simply, we're increasing bank rate because inflation is too high. And it's the bank's job to bring it down. So what about here, Ross? The Reserve Bank is raising by a quarter of a percent when you've got the US and the UK raised by three quarters. So is there a danger? We're getting left behind. That is the danger and that is the worry because, of course, either that or here we get the soft landing that nobody else in the rest of the developed world is going to see. So think about this. The UK rates are now 3% the cash rate. In the United States now, they're above that. They're getting to for 4%. In New Zealand, they're 3.5%. Here, 2.85%. But inflation is rising, perhaps at slower paces in some of those other countries, but there's the problem. So let's go back again to Andrew Bailey to talk about those differences differences about inflation and an economic slowdown. If we do not act forcefully now, it will be worse later on. And as the forecast we are publishing today shows, it is a tough road ahead. The sharp increase in energy prices caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine has made us poorer as a nation. The level of economic activity is likely to be flat and even fall for some time. But the economy will recover and inflation will fall. We cannot, I'm afraid, pretend to know what will happen to gas prices. That depends on the war in, in Ukraine. We've all got our binoculars on, uh, looking way yeah. off into the distance when inflation starts falling down, Ross. So apart from gas prices, are there any other signs inflation is escaping into the broader economy? There is, and I'll show you something here very quickly, and that is yesterday, Coles and Woolworths came out with quarterly sales numbers. Basically, they weren't bad. Woolworths a little lower. But this is what food price inflation is doing in Australia right now. Woolworths up by 7.3% in the quarter. Coles up by 7.1%. Things like potatoes and corn. That can be affected by floods, I know, but that's a sign that the inflation is getting broader than just energy prices. Just a final one here, Ross, but does a bit of inflation really matter? Why risk trashing the economy for the sake of inflation? OK, so go back to the United States. Overnight, you've had Amazon coming out and basically saying it's got a staff freeze, especially on senior staff. And in this case, the uh, Amazon senior vice president sent out a note to staff saying we're facing an unusual macroeconomic environment and want to balance our hiring and our investments. Uh, and also with uh, being thoughtful about this economy. Now, the important part about this is jobs and inflation are related. So in other words, if you want full employment, you you've got to eventually tackle inflation because eventually companies will put off staff, which yeah. lift the transport companies done overnight. So that is the reason why inflation is such an important thing to tackle. Yeah. Well explained. Ross Green would appreciate that. Thank you.